Uh, very enjoyable. Uh, very enjoyable to coach the other guys in the room, too. He, uh, Tim has brought a lot of uh, flavor to the room, if you will. Uh, but he is a tremendous young man. We know about Sam and Eli Huggins, even Jalen Pickle. How deeper do you expect to be in the rotation beyond those three? I tell you what, uh, I know he got nicked up a little bit, but uh, uh, Robert Hintz was coming. And uh, he had a, as tremendous an off season as an off season and summer work as anybody in uh, in the D tackle room. And uh, I'm looking for great things from him. And I'm really not only just maturity wise, but really honing in on some details that we talked about at the end of last season on things that he needed to get fixed. But he's obviously in better shape, stronger. Uh, plays with much better technique, and uh, boy, he was—he was. We're looking forward to to his work. And then uh, Tyrone Talani is another young man that can help us in a variety of spots. Uh, he's gotten himself improved, uh, both uh, on and off the field, in the weight room, and so on. And uh, we're counting on him to be part of the rotation. Girth, strong, hard to move him. Uh, uh, and just the, just the way he plays, he plays hard. He plays strong, he plays tough. Uh, uh, the other thing I like about Tim is just he's a, quite a technician. And he's really into the details of his work. And uh, those are the things I appreciate about him. He asks very pertinent and relevant questions. and. Uh, you know, it feels like I have a pro in my room, to be honest with you. You know, just the things that he asks. And, uh, you know, and I mean, it's not just Tim. You know, you got, we got some good guys in that room. Eli Huggins, Jalen Pickle, as you mentioned. Uh, those guys, you know. But as far as Tim's concerned, yeah, he brings a incredible size, incredible strength. And uh, we're counting on him for big things. Eli just continues to uh, – he's a very crafty player, a uh, really smart player. He gets it. He understands it. Uh, sometimes we'll watch tape. He'll see things before they happen. And, uh, and just his ability to understand the game at a high level and knowing his spots where he needs to be in the run game is are the reasons why he, he makes a lot of plays. And including the pass game. I mean, he, he, he gets it. And uh, great compliment, compliment to everyone around him. And uh, you know, speaking of Eli, I mean those those older guys, and I would just say that those older guys have been tremendous for our young players, uh, developing them, nurturing them, putting their arms around them, loving them, and uh, they've been unbelievable that way. If you could use a word or a phrase to describe. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> oh boy, that's a that's a good question right there. Uh, golly, I, I, it just felt like there were times where we weren't completely loaded, completely loaded. You know, we weren't playing with uh, a, a full full hand, if you will. You know, and uh, uh, there was a lot of shifting and moving things around to. Uh, but it just felt like we weren't complete. Whereas this year, I feel like, man, we're, this is the best I've felt. I told, I told, I told the guys this in, in our minutes. This is the best shape I've ever seen uh, our D linemen in since I've been here. The, the guys have been, they've worked, uh, they've worked very hard in the offseason. But to answer your question from last year, it just felt like they were, we were never – I mean, we may be strong in the D tackle position, for instance, and maybe they were – it just felt like we were never complete uh, full, at full strength. So how confident are you all? I know taking the step mm-hmm. last year, COVID was a big um, – Sure. That. So moving on this year, how confident all that you'll be able to return to kind of the status you all held in 2019? Uh, you know, I, I mean, right now I feel good, you know. I mean, we still got a lot of things to iron out here before uh, September 4th. 
But in terms of where we are from a, a mental standpoint and a physical standpoint, I feel good. And uh, I feel like, uh, uh, and, 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 and truthfully, uh, the credit goes to the players because they're the ones that were challenged and they're the ones that rose up to the challenge to get themselves mentally and physically ready for our season. Uh, you know, he, he's another young man that uh, I felt like had a tremendous camp. And I'm excited to see Jalen take the next step in his development, in his growth. And uh, uh, maybe more than anybody in our room, I'm excited to see the next thing, that, you know, Jalen taking the next steps be, to being the, uh, the player that he's certainly capable of. Last one or two or three here. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. You know, I have great hope for Damien. And, uh, and Damien is, you know, he just, he's one, he, he just came in and worked. You know, he hardly says a word, typical freshman, you know, and uh, he's just trying to figure out his way. But, you know, just I have great hope for Damien. And he's going to, he's going to be, he's going to help us down the road. Now, I can't, I, I can't say that about this year for sure. You know, who knows, you know. And, uh, but, no, Damon is a great addition to our program. And he's everything we thought he was going to be. Tough kid, uh, sharp kid on the field, gets the game. But maybe m more than anything, it's just he's explosive and he's tough. And, uh, and you have to have that in there. Well, I have what's it been like uh, coaching your son? What's it been like? Yeah. This is a new for me. I never really coached my son as a, uh, uh, not even a pop Warner or, you know, obviously during the same season or Little League. So this is new for me. It's new for him. But uh, I can't think of a better place for him to be than to be with me. And I'm, I'm really excited about it.